How's it going, everyone? This is Brian, and welcome to the Tech Stack Playbook, your guide to apps, software, and tech, but in a fun way, I promise. So I am super excited to be kicking this off really because I should have kicked this off way, way, way long ago. And I've really been delaying making this channel uh, just with work and with life and just with a whole bunch of maybe a little bit of procrastination. And really at the end of the day, um, I got into tech because of channels like this, because of content that I saw online. And really what I wanted to do was create a channel that would inspire people about why technology is so cool to be in, so cool to build within. Uh, really just dive into the different technologies that it takes to build apps and software and really just how the technology that we use today, really how it works and really just pull the curtain behind how a lot of these systems and operations really just happen at the end of the day. And I am just super grateful for a lot of content creators that I came across over my career in tech. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, really started a couple years ago and it's really been day and night from when I started. And I, I really just started looking at channels online and finding other content creators and other people that were teaching and educating and sharing. And I really want this channel to do a couple of things, but specifically provide a community where other people can learn how to start, how to get started, how to learn how to write their first lines of code, even to bringing in experts and industry leaders and subject matter experts, people that are really doing this and show you all really what it takes to get there, what it takes to get into, you know, a company like Fang or what it takes to get into a startup and really what does the work look like at the end of the day? What do you need to know to be an expert and a leader in technology? And I really also want to show some tutorials and some demos and do some coding sessions. I think it would be really fun to just show what it's like to build something. I have a whole bunch of ideas of, you know, demos and other technologies and other ideas for uh, some cool technology. So I'd really love to just share what that actually looks like and what it is built. And, you know, I really started from a non-traditional background. I, I really got started with this because I, uh, so actually going way, way back, uh, there were a couple of reasons why I got into technology. One was because my university offered this certification program at the graduate school. And it was on basically principles and practices of big data, but it was specifically on social sentiment analysis. And it was so cool because we got to use this tool called Crimson Hexagon and it plugs into data streams like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and, you know, those types of social media platforms. And what we were able to do was categorize conversations, really taking publicly accessible data and then find out what are people talking about a certain topic? Let's say we're talking about healthcare. You could dive into and see what people are talking about Pfizer versus Merck versus you know Johnson and Johnson versus any real healthcare uh, conversation. You could find specifically our what what types of conversations are people having? What is the you know, really general sentiment around these conversations? Are people optimistic? Are they pessimistic? Is you know, are the conversations good or are they bad? And it just rocked my world because that was my first exploration into how can you use data and how can you leverage data analysis to lead results, not just from a business perspective, but also from an understanding your audience perspective, because that can in turn change how you address your audience, how you communicate with your followers, how really you, maybe you launch your next products or your next services. So I, I loved that. I thought it was so cool to see just how the technology actually can empower people and give people information and really inform discussion. And I, I thought that that was so cool. So there was that. And then uh, Boston University also had an amazing accelerator program um, at the Innovate at BU lab. And that was very, very cool because that brought me right into the center of what does it take to start a startup? What does it take to build a business? What are the areas of a startup that you should be thinking about? And I just really soaked in all of those lessons and lectures and meetings. We had office hours with angel investors, with uh, subject matter experts in technology, uh, different professors, some at the business school, some at the College of Arts and Sciences, some at the communication school where I went to, some from you know just different places of campus, some from 
outside of the university. And I just, I loved it. They brought in different partners and we were able to learn how to make a pitch deck, how to make a business model. And it was really amazing. But the story that I always tell people was I was a part of this really inspiring team and we wanted to make a software product. However, none of us learned, knew how to code. So that was really where I started learning HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And that was really way before I learned about actual software engineering, which was, you know, taking, you know, re like full stack JavaScript, React and front end frameworks, integrate that with DevOps in the cloud. I didn't know any of that at the time, but I thought that I had known quite a lot. And then I started going to hackathons and I started realizing that I really had a lot to learn. And I think I think it can be very intimidating for people when you actually end up learning about all the things that it takes to, to, to learn and build in tech. So I really want this channel to help inspire other people to say, you know, everyone started from somewhere, you know, whether you work, whether you work at, you know, a fang company or you work at a startup or whether you work at, uh, you know, uh, an academic institution or just a company and you are using some sort of technology or some sort of coding, I think it's empowering to know really how these technologies work. And that's where I want to take this channel to really help be that source of information, that source of motivation, that inspiration. I also want to have some authentic conversations as well about what it takes. I, there's been a ton of imposter syndrome that I've been talking about with different folks, uh, some of my mentors and some of the people that, uh, that I look up to saying, you know, oh, I having just, I mean, even just this past week, I was having a ton of imposter syndrome with learning how to build and learning how to scale. And I think in technology, we're just often expected to just know the answer. And it's sort of, well, why don't you know the answer? You know, come on, everyone knows that. And I think it's really easy to lose sight of how much we as individuals might actually know at the end of the day, but might feel like we have so much more to learn and so much more to grow. So as you know, I grow, as you grow, as we all grow, I'd love for this channel also to grow in value and in content and in delivery of helping other people learn. And I've just been really just exposed to a lot of great mentors and leaders and teachers and resources in the space. So uh, I really also just love to use this channel to make sure that I can educate and I can teach other people about these technologies and these systems as well. There's just so much in the world of technology to to learn and to grow in. So I'd love for you all to be a part of that. And I'd love to you know, hear your thoughts on what are the specific topics that you're interested in? What do you want to hear? What do you want to you know, understand? What are the gaps in your understanding? And maybe I have those same gaps as well. And then maybe we can use this channel to you know, dive into that topic together. And um, so that's really where I believe this channel could add a lot of value to other people and I don't want this to just be another channel, another podcast that's just, you know, one in a million other ones. I want this to really be valuable and I really want this to be authentic and valuable for people. So if there's topics that you're interested in and you, you know, want to talk about that, um, hit me up on social media. Um, trying to make it easy to find my handle is Brian H. Huff. Uh, so it's, I'll probably link that in the, the comments below. So pretty easy to find me. Um, if there's a topic that you want to talk about, maybe there's a collaboration and you want to, you know, jump on a session. I actually started creating a bunch of interviews. So I have several interviews with some real leaders in the space, people that I look up to, uh, one on low code, no code, one on AI, some other plans for building an online curriculum. If you wanted to learn computer science, you know, for free, what would that open source curriculum actually look like? There's a lot of cool ideas and topics that we can all dive into together. And I'd love this to really be the tech stack playbook as in one for the community, one that can help other people really learn and dive into the technology and not just knowing about it from a business perspective, because of course that's important, but really understand how to build and how to scale. And it just if you watch any show, anyone that knows me, I'm a huge fan of the show Silicon Valley because it really shows the startup journey and the startup life cycle of really 
w- when you're building a startup, right? It's, it's not necessarily pretty. You don't have all the answers. You don't have all of the information set up. So uh, even in the same way with this, I don't really have all the answers. I want to learn and I want to grow through this. So I, I think that this would be a really great space for anyone to collaborate, anyone to bring in their thoughts and their perspectives and really just collaborate together. Um, I have benefited a lot from going to hackathons and going to community-based events. So uh, in the same way with this, I'd love for this to be very community oriented. So again, if you have insights, if you want to collaborate, if there's a topic that you really want to dive into, you know, find me on social media and, and let's collaborate. Let's talk. Let's even maybe you'll bring things to me that I've never even heard of. And I'd be able to make a video or a series of videos on that. Or maybe you want to join me and we could work on that together. So I'm just very excited. And uh, I'm looking forward to really taking uh, this on as a project. And if there's, um, yeah, really any ways that I can be of value to you, you know, please let me know. Again, I'll, I'll drop my social handles below and um, you know that'll just be easy for you to find me if you want to mess- message me or reach out. And yeah, I'm just really excited to, to, to take the opportunities to make some content. I feel like a, a lot of my friends are making content now and they're kind of looking at me like, Brian, when are you making content? Like, like I know you tell other people about making content and the value of that, but where's your content? So this is me putting thought to practice or uh, is it, uh, what do you call it, uh, practice what you preach. Yes, that is the phrase, practice what you preach. I want to do that. I want to really live and breathe a lot of the insights that, you know, I might recommend to other people because it's really easy to suggest, you know, oh, just make content or, you know, make a channel, but then actually doing it can be, you know, quite intimidating. It can be a new journey. It can be a little scary, but um, I'm excited to go on this journey with you all and, make content together. So if that's something that you're about and you want to, you know, teach other people how to code, other teach other people why technology is really important, you know, please reach out and let's make this channel uh, an amazing success. So um, I'm going to be posting this uh, on YouTube and I'm also going to be posting this uh, on has a podcast, so it'll probably be on Spotify, maybe Apple Podcasts at some point, maybe on SoundCloud. I'm going to try to get this out to just different channels and hopefully, um, hopefully just in general, if there's, um, you have any feedback or you have any ideas, again, please reach out to me and let's make this channel awesome. I am just so inspired by the amazing content that's out there. And I just would love to be uh, sort of an inspiration, an educator, someone who could help you get started in technology in the same ways that other people had helped me. So if that vibes with you, if you're interested in that, please let's get started. Um, so yeah, so that's just the intro first episode of the Tech Stack Playbook, but so excited to be kicking this off and collaborate with some amazing, amazing folks in the technology space. So yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing conversation. So I uh, hope you have a great uh, rest of your morning, your afternoon, your evening, wherever you're tuning in from. Let's keep the conversation going. All right, thanks so much. I will catch you all next time. All right, later.